Hi everyone, welcome to the Chem 345 lab video series. My name is Parvana and today we will be talking about fractional crystallization, otherwise known as recrystallization. Recrystallization is used to purify impure compound in a solvent by utilizing the relative solubility of a compound at different temperatures. Before we begin, we must choose the solvent. The ideal solvent is one with the following conditions. First, the desired compound is insoluble at low temperature, but soluble at higher temperatures. Second, the impurities are soluble at both low and high temperatures. This is because we want impurities remain in the solvent and the desired compound is crystallized. A slightly polar solvent such as ethanol are very common crystallization solvents. First, a very a small volume of solvent is added to impure compound. Impure compound contains desired compound and impurities. Gently heated until this compound is dissolved. Add more solvent as necessary until this is achieved. Pay attention. Adding too much solvent can reduce your final yield. Once the compound is dissolved, the solution is cooled. As the solvent cools, the compound will begin to crystallize. The slower the cooling process, the larger the crystal that form. If there are not significant impurities, the impurities will remain in the solvent. When the compound has crystallized, it can be isolated from solvent through filtration. In the funnel, there is filter paper. We pour all solution inside the funnel. The crystals remain in the funnel and the solvent and impurities comes in the flask. The compound is then rinsed with a small amount of uh, cold solvent to remove impurities on the surface of the crystals. The solvent is cold to reduce the amount of crystals that gets pulled back into solution. This step to remove impurities is worth the small amount of yield that might be lost. After filtration, the compound is left to dry for at least 24 hours. Weigh the compound to obtain yield prior to characterization. The biggest mistakes in recrystallization are adding too much solvent to dissolve the compound, as well as using too much cold solvent to rinse the recrystallized product. Additionally, be careful not to overheat the solvent. Many organic solvents are volatile and will evaporate fast at high temperatures, which may cause the compounds to precipitate prematurely. Thank you for watching this video.